It is Deco Color Premium Prime Gold Oil Based Metallic Paint Marker. The Posca pens did not work for that part, so. but that did okay. Brand new mold. I have no idea how it has stuff in it already. Now this is some leftover glow-in-the-dark pink. It does not glow pink. Um, it's kind of sort of like a off greeny color, orangey kind of mix that it glows. Um, but I'm just painting the horn this and the rest I'm going to be doing uh, clear with some floating glitter or non-sinking glitter and these um, actual unicorn shaped big chunky glitter. get one out you can see that so I'm going to have these all throughout along with some pinks and purples the so-called non-sinking glitter stuff So this one is the color shift 
gemstone shimmer I got from Hobby Lobby. Make sure all y'all stay in here. some of that one put in too when I mix up the resin. I haven't a clue how much I'm going to need. And I am awful about trying to guess. Leave this open in case I need some more. gloves on and I shall mix up some resin and I'll fast forward through that part because I have a video in there of how I mix up my resin I'm wondering if eight ounces would be too much. And let's go with the small one and do six ounces for right now. I can always do it in layers and add more if need be. So, I've got some new resin to test out today. Unboxing. Hmm. Stoyo sent me some resin, and I will have some uh, links in uh, the description for this. Purifier on. Okay. Let's see. Static or something in them. Let's do three and three. Part B.
and this is the Estoyo High Gloss No VOCs Low Odor Resists Yellowing, Self Leveling, and Mold Friendly. This is their one to one ratio. Okay, three and a half ounces. <clears throat> and a here. Make sure that is sanitizer cleaned off so we don't have anything sticking to each other. Get some on the gloves very right quick. Another three and a half ounces. Estoyo resin, one to one ratio. <clears throat> Alrighty, get my alarm set here. And I'm also using my Estoyo mixer that I bought. They sent me the resin to test out their resin. This is very nice, thin, I don't smell anything.
Okay. I've got like 40 seconds left and I've got it mixed really well. And now I'm going to try some of this non-sinking glitter in here. All right, there it goes. That comes off really nice. Let's hope that's not too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one. That's one I brushed in. Maybe in a smidgen of this pink. That's going to be a pain to mix, but that'll be a nice little color mix in there. <clears throat> Yep, the glow does not want to mix well at all. I'm gonna do some glow. Hold on, let me get sanitizer on my fingers to get the resin off. This is a green glow, but it's just, you know, regular pretty glitter. But it does have a nice green glow, and it won't affect the color. That way I can get some. Maybe a little hint more glowing in here. All right, sanitize the hands one more time. I know I'm getting it everywhere. All right. <clears throat> Going to turn off the light a moment, so bear with me. Test my glow here. Okay, that doesn't do too bad at all. Get my head back on. Just a nice hint, and I still have some pretty colors.
stop right there for briefly. <clears throat> Where's one of my silicone pads here? Do I have it doming already? Wow. It's Come on, bubbles up. Okay, so let's see. Get some of that wiped off from there. Let's get you moved. I don't even know if I'm in camera view, but I'm trying to do the little detail on the, the outside piece that I've got to fill in. I wasn't expecting to have this much extra, but that's okay. I'll go ahead and do this part too. <clears throat> and again, I just used the uh, gold Deco Color Premium uh, oil based marker here. Get this one up here nice and flat.
Okay, we'll be back when this is uh, cured. See y'all soon. Record. <coughs> Do a quick unmolding, and then I gotta see about doing a cutting a, a hole in this. Because I've got uh, a plug coming tomorrow. Since this is supposed to be a piggyback, piggy bank, in the shape of a unicorn. Got a little overspill right there. And that's actually meant to be there because it's supposed to hook in. But I got a little overspill right there I'll have to take care of. set you over here. First time I've used this one. We'll see how easy it is to get this unmolded or difficult. We shall see. suction release here. There we go. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. That was a hole. Huh. Did not realize that. That's why the color didn't come off. Come on. Yeah, this is the piece it wants to be a pain, is right where the coin slot is. Everything else is released. That's the one spot that wants to hold on. Come on. There we go. Slide through. Did it break a nail? Yep. <laughs> Tip the nail. There we go. Finally, straighten that up. And I tried to paint it and it didn't have a spot. That one did. Okay. Coin slot. I do have some deburring to do on here before I go and uh, glue it together. But I also, like I said, have to get the hole saw and drill out a little hole over here. Hmm. Doesn't seem to match up 100%. Of course I still got that. I've got to trim up right quick too. I can see one or two more other spots as well. So it's supposed to go on, there's a little inside lip. Okay. So I'll get uh, my deburring stuff, clean this up. And get the whole saw out. And we'll do a little uh, drilling. Be back soon. Okay, so apparently I let this sit and harden for too long because now the two pieces won't fit together. The horn, I mean it is hard, won't go. The head's tilted. So make sure you don't over pour one and this piece is still on the pliable side when you go to put it together. 
because otherwise it's not going to fit in. course even right here it's showing right there that it's not even sitting proper so yeah I'm gonna have to of course you've got the nose sticking up right there darn it if I'll say that wasn't the case I'd hold it in here to, to pour but that nose pops up. Well, I'll have to re-pour the lid, so we'll take this a little longer, and she won't be getting this for Christmas. <laughs> I'll be back when it's time for me to, to re-pour this. i got some other stuff going right now, so it won't be right now, and um, she's coming on Thursday through Saturday, so I can't do anything else the rest of this week other than what I'm demolding tomorrow. Um, Sunday. I might be able to start back on Sunday. We'll see how the day goes. All right. See y'all later. Bye. Hello, everyone. This is the continuation of the Estolio uh, resin project. I'm having to redo this because the mold is not straight and I let this sit out too long um, so now I can't bend it into place to get it to fit and I domed it um, so it's actually a little on the thick side too so I need to redo it because it will not go in place and I think I'm probably gonna try and make it a little opaque um, on the back side because it's you know that's this is going to be the front so I'm probably going to do this a little opaque on the um, with some let's resin pink mica but I'm still going to um, let's see if it came out like that you know, like that. The glitter is probably going to be on the wrong side. I might not fiddle with the glitter and just do a, a pink background. Um, so the glitter doesn't get lost. But, uh, yeah. Um, the mold does not match up. Came that way, so I'm trying something i put it in here to try and force it i put some tissue at the tip of the corn horn sorry <laughs> it's because of the the spot here um this part kept dripping down so I'm, i put some tissue in the under there trying to hold it in place and i just hope i have everything as level as i can get it so we don't have anything running out anywhere i may have to just do a, a smaller less pour than expected it's supposed to be two and a half ounces so i'm probably on going to mix up two ounces um because like i said i i dome this um thinking it needed it but because this is the first time i had tried it um but yeah it was issue with the mold and i'm just trying to work out a solution and i hope this works and follow me along for the journey you set this somewhere over here. Oh boy. So we're not doing the glitter. Get that out of the way. Scoot it back. Just some mica. Got the scissors. Pop open. My Estoyo resin. Estoyo kindly sent me some resin. And because of my mix up, I bought some more to. So I can finish doing the video for them. And then I got sick. And I was sick for two weeks in December. And then I was okay for a week. But I had my granddaughter. And we had, you know, Christmas and stuff going on. And we were trying to do her birthday slash Christmas all at once that week. Um, and see family. 
So we, uh, we get the clean cup here. Stick. Um, sorry, sidetracked. <laughs> And then um, I got sick again for the last three weeks. Um, so I was sick two weeks, okay for one week, but it was a busy week and had my granddaughter, so there was no resin work going on. And then um, until after she'd gone home and I did um, a project, which I'm still got to get the video edited, but you'll see that coming soon, depending on how long it finishes me takes me to finish editing the video. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm still trying to get my brain together and figure out how to word things properly. My brain's just still kind of sort of scattered. We got to see her for the first time since right before Christmas this past weekend because um, I was finally starting to feel better. Um, Thank you all that, uh, you know, commented and uh, hoped I felt better soon. I really appreciate that. Thank you, uh, Miss Francis from Beating Crazy Custom Creations. I love the Christmas card. I didn't chance trying to reply back uh, or send you one back. I wasn't on the computer, phone, YouTube, nothing. Wasn't watching TV. I was just sick in bed for a long time. Um, I got the card, and I also got your... Uh, the molds you sent me, I really greatly appreciate that. Thank you, thank you so very much, Miss Francis. Um, I was going to send a card back, but then I got sick again. I'm like, yeah, better not, because I don't want to, you know, take a chance of sending anything to anybody in the mail. If I had anything, you know, contagious, I don't know how long things, you know, last on inanimate objects as far as germs and stuff goes. So I wasn't taking chances, but I did get it and I wanted to say thank you. It really meant a lot to me. The card and the um the molds. And I've got a video coming out using some of those molds too. Um and there's something stuck on here. Sorry. My brain does not wants to go on a million things at one time, but trying to actually speak and at the same time gets a little uh, offset for me. <laughs> That's that ADD. All right. These have not been opened because I literally just opened the box. So I'm going mean, to have to grab my little knife right quick. Ooh, ooh ow. Don't spill. Don't spill. Come on, look up. All right, let's put the lid back on that because that's A. I don't start with A, I start with B. Hope the sound's coming through. I hope my microphone lasts all the way through. Doesn't cut out. Still shows a green light, so that seems good. <laughs> okay. Come on, close it. All right, let me double check. Make sure you're in view good. Okay, so we got A, B. Okay, there. Come on, stop dripping. B. And then 
a, and again, this is a Stoyo resin. This is a review for them. Um, and again, I really do apologize to Stoyo for not being able to get this out sooner. It's really beautiful resin to work with. It's clear, came out bubble free, as you could see uh, that I've shown on the unicorn. So this is redoing the back part. Oh, my timer. There we go. I hope this is enough and not too little, but I can always add a little extra if need be later. Like mix up a small amount of polyurethane. That'll make sure it's a nice solid. It won't, won't move, but I don't know. It's, it's just, we'll see how this goes with the con concoction, the way I have it pushed into this mold and see if that will hold its place so the horn's not kicked out of the way and the body's not misshapen. Because it wasn't just a horn. The, there's other parts in here that were twisted and it's the mold itself that's messed up. And nothing to do with the resin or anything else. And I'm probably just going to use like a little bit of double-sided tape and um, probably paint the back of the flat one um, like white to make it opaque and then just use a little bit of double-sided tape and put it on her wall in her bedroom here for a decoration. That's what I've done with our dinosaurs that I made her, the T-Rex and the Brontosaurus. I have uh, just put some heavy-duty double-sided tape on those two because they're, you know, bigger and heavier. I've got some smaller uh, double-sided tape I'll use for that one. Probably just take some white acrylic paint and paint the back after it dries. Um, let's see about... Uh, putting that on, I may have to do it a coat of epoxy over it so the paint doesn't peel off with the tape. I want to make sure I have good adhesion. And I'm probably, you know, moving a little on the fast side so I have some bubbles in here. But that's because I'm, you know, stirring kind of fast. Scraping down the sides of the cup. So we want to make sure everything gets incorporated in the bottom. I don't know why this is still recording. I'll fast forward this. My, nobody wants to watch resin being stirred.
All right, we shall return when this is cured up and cross fingers. Hopefully this works. <laughs> See y'all soon. Bye. Okay, so I didn't say, I don't even think I said anything last night when I did a quick unmold, put it together, and then put some heavy stuff on top. Left it there all night long, and now it has been 24 hours. Huh, some of that sunk in. It's still in, good. I'll do the... UV resin around it. It still looks like it's somewhat not exactly in place. Hmm. Good thing I didn't put anything over there because there wouldn't have been anything there. I wonder why that sunk. I wonder if there might have been a, a space that I missed underneath between the two molds the way I had them laid together to attach. But all in all it is cute. And like I said, I'll uh, get some UV resin because I don't want any going in here. Just go around the edges to make sure it's good and bonded to it. And it still did not set down in there. But it seems it's attached. But to be on the safe side, like I said, I'm going to get some gloves on and... Grab my, uh, that bottle's almost empty. Let me find a full bottle of UV. Grab my light. So we can make sure this is good and adhered in place. And then I'm going to let it sit for a couple of days before I have uh, my husband assist me drilling a one inch hole in there um, so I can get where did I put it? It was just over there. Um, piggy blank plugs that go into piggy blank. Piggy banks. And I seriously just had it over next to my computer and it's been moved. Where did it get moved to? Looking around my space. 
because it's probably staring me in the face and I'm just missing it. <laughs> Let's see, JV Well, don't want that. I'll pause you and uh, come back in a minute after I find it. Okay, it's not curing yet. I just was trying to find something to give it a little uh, extra height on here for when I do go to cure it. I'm going to unmold these two little bonus pieces right quick because it was a little spare leftover resin. And see how it came out. And see if you can see the holographic to it or not. That was one A little star one. And here's the snowflake coming out. It's holographic, pink and glittery with some unicorn glitter in there too. That can just barely be seen, but that's okay. Set these over out of the way so I can move my trays around as needed to get the piece to hold in. Have a little overspill. Put that up. Set this over here out of the way. Now what I was talking about was going to have to use a one inch hole saw to drill a hole in here. And I bought some piggy bank pieces. So hopefully that'll be a good size. We can get it in the hole once it's cut. We'll see. May have to trim that part off just so it pushes in and then pulls out, but we'll see how it goes. And this was uh, from Lowe's, and this was from uh, Amazon. It's supposed to be for one inch, about a one inch hole. I think it's like actually like .97 or something, which is close because this is technically a 25 millimeter, which is just under one inch. So. I'm hoping it works together. Set these back over out of the way. And got my gloves on, got my little light. Move some stuff around. I'm going to move these for the moment so I can have room to do what I need to do. I should have turned the temperature down some. It is warm in here. Fan. That fan going. And I'll be working in just small sections. I'll pause you while we're doing this part.
That really seems silly. That should have been a solid piece in there. That way coins can't go up in there and get stuck. Still needs a little more time curing. It still seems a bit soft. It's just now been 24 hours, but it's a really thin piece. probably won't put the coins in just yet because I don't want two things one I don't want them getting stuck to the resin if it that other piece is still curing but a quarter does fit that's good to know that's what I wanted to test and two when we've got when this cures for a while and gets good and hard solid um, we've got to drill that hole and I don't want to, to have any issues that way and if that fails, then I'll have to start all over again <laughs> and probably have to cut a hole after it gets hard before I put it together and maybe try and figure a different way to get it to attach. I don't know. But other than, like I said, drilling a hole and putting the plug together and doing some little final sanding so there's no sharp edges. I mean, it's not to me, but for a little kid, you know, plays with stuff, it could be. So, don't want to take any chances. And I'm going to, again, leave it this way so it doesn't sink in the other direction. And it should be good. Put my stuff back over where I keep it at over here. Give my shout outs. We got Mini Scenes GB, uh, Artists Resin, Bean Crazy Custom Creations, Marvelous Artsy, Claire's Crafty Corner, Daniel Cooper, Crafty Shenanigans. Amy's Resin Corner, Dragon Creations, Glitz and Glitter by Michelle, Southern Lady Artistic Creations, Crafting with Carla, Resin Nut, Epoxy Me That, Tea and Art, and Wendigo Studio as well as Beck's Craft Designs. Um, thank you all. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. You don't understand, if you if you don't have a channel, you don't understand how much every little bit of that helps with everybody's uh, algorithms on getting out to more subscribers. And when I checked right before I came on here, I now have 604 subscribers. So even while I was uh, sick for off and on for the last six, seven weeks, um, two weeks sick, one week good, and then three weeks sick again. <laughs> um still got uh, some new subscribers thank you all thank you to my original uh, people that started following me watching me and commenting and chatting back and forth and thanks to everybody that checked on me while I was uh, off sick and um, also all the wonderful comments and stuff that I get I really do appreciate it all thank you all so much and um, we'll be back um, I'm going to post this now and I'll um, add in um, a different area for add-on pictures when this is completed with the hole drilled. If that works, the hole drilled and the thing. If not, I'll redo this later because um, I want to you know, have something like this for my granddaughter. She's four and she's starting to learn um, actual money and stuff. We got our little uh, toy cash register that has realistic looking coins and dollars and stuff and uh, she's had fun playing with that. She likes playing with her kitchen set and really at this point in time loves playing dress up as princess. Princess dress up is going crazy right now. <laughs> and everything to her has to match. You can't have two different colors. You can't wear a pink skirt and a purple uh, top. And I'm like, they're meant for mix and match. You can if you want to, trying to explain it to her. And she says, it doesn't match. 
<laughs> but you know, kids, they go through their stages. That's why I like black. Black goes with everything. <laughs> that's that's pretty much my go-to color is black tops, occasionally black pants if around the house. If I go out in public though, I'm usually wearing jeans. Possibly like right now, as cold as it is, wearing like leggings underneath. Oh, leave that flat. <laughs> Gotta leave it flat so hopefully it finishes solidifying up, cures good. And we shall see you on my next video. Thank you all. Bye.